I'm so late. I'm so late. And away we go. Where's all your fish? Huh? Where's all your fish? Oh yeah? Yeah, I lost right by five This cold shit. Yeah, I can see your breath and stuff. I'm down asshole Crocs. Luckily I had a pair of socks in the truck. I've got all the long johns. Well, I'm fixing to go put some long johns on. Yeah, that's uh, Mark Crawford. She has them bites hard. Put one of them worms on. Yeah. Six, eight inches up from your feed head. And, and he said the worst it could do is float in the water and not catch anything. Yeah. So yeah, it'll help it float. Nine out of ten of the fish that I catch are on that worm whenever I fish a double like that. Oh, that's decent. First of the day. Trap number one. Alrighty. All I'm doing is using a robo worm natural shad pattern or a little sculpin series. This is the FX series. We're just gonna whack them today. There's one. Whoa! That's a trout. Hitting that woolly bear. It's still on. It's got it's full of grass now, but <laughs> Wow, that's that's a nice trout too, buddy. That's a nice trout. Holy cow. Man, it's doing backflips. That's oh, it's that's a real good eating trout. That's number two. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Show them off to everybody. That is a gorgeous Spring River trout, y'all. Back on this Jekyll bait woolly bear. And uh, I have a tendency to call it a. <laughs> A woolly bugger as well uh, just because there are woolly buggers out there for trout fishing but this is the woolly bear that's one of mine I haven't seen it anywhere else not in this particular pattern it's very seasonal I feel like I'm picking up grass though it's the only thing in this backwater Two hours later.
Come on, baby. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. That's a nice little fish right there, dude. Hang on a second. Hold him up a little bit higher. Perfect. Nice. How does it look at that belly? Belly. Uh, I'm just going to walk straight out from that. Go ahead and work that if you want for a minute before I get in. Okay. Yeah. go little guy very pretty trout very nice Let's see what you got. Take your uh, earthworm. Yeah. And about an inch and a half up from the bottom, you stick this in it. And you push this all worm all the way down on this. Yeah. I, I usually come out all the way out the end, or usually about an inch or so up here on top. I put my hook in this. Yeah. And I hold the line tight, and you slide that worm all the way up on your hook. Oh, your no knot, kidding. When it gets water, like this. You like catching bass too, or just trout? Trout? I think I started fishing when I was just about your age. I started when I was four. Wow, that's younger than me. I started when I was about six. How old are you now? Nine. Nice. You doing good in school? Good. That's important. Bass. Nice bass. <laughs> there is nothing like this in the world, folks. Nothing like this on the face of the planet. <laughs> Come here, bud. Okay. Hook is just barely in him. How about that? Ladies and gentlemen, that is a really nice bass. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Out here at dam site three. Look at this pretty girl.
You ready? <laughs> I tell you folks, it is uh, the end of November. We're, we're past Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving weekend. It's Sunday. I believe it's November 26th, maybe. And uh, I'm out in sort of short sleeves. It's not that cold. The water's probably about 43, 44. And these bass are just having a blast always a good time hanging out with CJ got to see beautiful Paisley Ann there will be pictures uh, right about now um, oh keep pressure keep pressure what do I got here a little trout feels like a trout is it what is this it is a little sunny a uh, bluegill. Fat little bluegill. Pretty nonetheless. But it's, you know, it's always a good time. Even when we don't catch the, the big girls. And, and I caught, caught a pretty nice bass today. Um, enjoyed that. Let's, uh, let's let this little guy go. Eh, just a baby. very pretty fish got this beautiful beautiful bluegill see if we can get there we go a little bit better in the light and the release see ya I uh, I got to fish a new part of the river which unfortunately sucks for you guys and me my battery died and I didn't, it's, a, it's about a half a mile hike in um, over on the spillway side. But I did take some really cool pictures. So that'll be uh, added into the tail end of this. And didn't catch any fish there, so it's sort of okay that I had a dead battery. But again, it's so pretty. Come on, hit that again. There we go. Got you that time. Got you that time. Thanks for coming back for it. What do we got here? Let's see. You're acting like a bass. Oh, you're a great big. Yes. Great big. Warm mouth. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Come on around. There we go. Oh, I might call this my last fish of the day get you in some good light boy these things are so so pretty look at the eyes on that folks just a beautiful fish all right little one Wow, that almost looks like a cutty. Oh, that's brown. a beauty brown. He just right size. Good know. job. That is a cutty. Cool. It looks like a cut bow, but maybe not. It's just real pretty in the cheeks. Yeah, yeah that's a nice brown right there to catch my minners.
Why is this shoe wet? Hmm? The heck happened there? Strange. That's gonna suck. Got wet shoe. Oh, duh. There we go. They really do help. Those Dr. Shoals, they're awesome.